Hello guys! In this video here, I'm going to show you how to download Windows Server 2022. If you're just a user of Mac like me, you're going to figure out that it's quite hard to find any some application that might run the Windows Server since it is uh, still not native and up to today on Mac Silicon apps or Mac Silicon OS. And due to their chip, uh, it's a different architecture and might not run any other <clears throat> server that might not be native to the same chip that we are using but anyways let's proceed to the video i'm gonna show you here i am gonna be using uh utm to download this because this is a great option for mac os it runs smoothly and uh, up to far up to to test it it's it's, it's the one that it's it worked the best or the only one that actually really worked with me. So I have the UTM already installed on my app uh, on my Mac. You can download this straight on UTM site. And I'm going to show you here. I'm going to open Safari here. I'm going to show you the link where you can download. You can just Google here UTM, UTM, Vitor Machines for Mac. And then you kind of come here and download this on your Mac gonna leave available for you the link there as well on this video so you can just download uh, if you download straight from here it's better because um, here's gonna be a free version of it if you go to Mac App Store I don't know how it is right now but apparently it is uh, paid and app it's 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 an app paid on if you download from Mac App Store but anyways you download here just follow through the instructions it's quite easy to download on your Mac and when you have it, uh, you're just gonna need another ISO image for your Microsoft server. Uh, the one that I have here, it's the 2022 version. You can get it straight on Microsoft app, um, the, the Microsoft website. I'm gonna just show you here as well, the pathway to download it. I just go here, Microsoft server 2022, so. And then you can come here and evaluation center and then you're going to come to this page here you're going to download the ESO image might take a while to load the page um, i don't know if you're going to face the same issue but it takes a little bit while, uh, longer to to load the page but it's going to load eventually just give maybe two or three minutes to go if i click here and it just doesn't open straight away i think it's a little bit heavy to load but Anyways, once you get there, you just download the ISO image for English 64-bit um, on your Mac. Okay, and then you're going to have the ISO image, you're going to have the machine, and then you can proceed to install. I saved my ISO image here in my folder. I have a folder called ISO. And just please don't double-click on this image. You might have a risk to mount the operation system into your machine. Just leave it the way it is. Don't click on it. We're going to click on it using our virtual machine. Uh, you're going to click on it using UTM. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just minimize this because I'm not going to use right now. So here you're going to open UTM just after you download it and opened it. You're going to have this page here. You're just going to click and create a new one. You come here in emulate. And then you're going to select here the option Windows. When you select the option, Windows is going to bring you to this page. It's going to say install Windows 10 or higher. You're just going to unselect this. And then you're going to come here, browse. And then you're going to just give one click. Uh, you don't need to open it. Just going to click one click. And then you're going to press open. When you do this, it's going to select the ISO image you want to use in process to download your virtual machine and you're gonna just uncheck ufi boot because since windows server is not um very recent os does not have support for ufi so we're gonna just follow a simple bios to download it so we're just gonna leave it like this and select it and go here go here and continue um you're gonna keep this setting as the way it is this one as well i recommend you here to make a basic calculation of the space that you have in your machine if you have 
16 gigs RAM, which my machine here has. I just gonna select two because we don't need a lot of space here for this moment. I'm just gonna show you how, guys how to download it. And here on CPU cores, I recommend you to leave guys at least two cores. And there is an option that I'm gonna show you later that it is very important to check that helps in the speed of process of the download of the, the, the virtual machine and also for the emulation. You guys gotta remember that we are emulating the virtual machine. We are not running natively because it is not, it's still not available for the Mac OS. So we're just gonna leave it like this right now and then we're gonna click and continue. Here we're gonna leave 32 gigabytes available for it. I think it's gonna be necessary for the size of this disk. Just gonna click here and continue. Here you don't need to worry as well. We're not gonna use any shared directory, so you're just gonna click and continue. And here you're gonna give whatever name you see best for your virtual machine. I'm just gonna leave here server two, since I already created a server one before. And I'm gonna click here, open VM settings, so just we can have a look on everything has got. And I'm just gonna click here and save. It's gonna open here, the virtual machine settings as we requested. Here's the name. I'm just gonna change one setting that I judge important. You don't need to do it, but I find best if you force mute multi core for this machine. It's gonna take, uh, <clears throat> it's gonna install the windows uh, more uh, a little bit faster because it takes a little bit of while to download it when is your ear emulating it's already take a while to download it to mount the the operational system when you were doing and uh, when you were setting as natively since we are emulating it takes a little bit longer to download and also i'm gonna change one more thing here i said two i'm gonna leave four this time I think four is gonna be enough. And also just um, check within your machine as well. Uh, how much space do you have in your machine? Uh, how many cores you have? This might be important. If you have uh, 16 cores, if you have two, two, uh, two cores, eight cores performance, eight cores natively, you're just gonna choose here whatever and your machine is gonna run. Of course, if you have a, A, you're not gonna see, assign A cores in straight away because it's gonna take space of your machine. So I'm just gonna leave four here because mine is 10, 10. Just gonna leave here A, A, four and then I'm gonna press save. Now the settings is it's done. I'm just gonna click here on execute and then I'm gonna follow the steps to download the virtual machine. So we can see the Windows logo already appeared here. That's important. It means that the ISO image is working and that the machine is starting. And it's gonna start to download now. So here guys, we're gonna select the language we're gonna use for the operational system. I have here English, United States. I'm gonna choose here English, Ireland for time and currency because it's where I am. So if we type, yeah. I wonder if there is, let me check here, if there is English, Irish, English, Ireland, English, Europe, English, yeah, English Ireland. I'm gonna just keep here English Ireland and language I'm gonna keep here as Irish as well. Since it's the only one that it might allow me to. So I have Irish, I have English. I'm gonna just keep with Irish. Just gonna click next, install now. So here guys are gonna just use this option. If 
for the standard evaluation that stock experience it's the one that i'm going to be using here for the test that i need to use i'm going to click on next you might see that some pages here might take a little while to proceed but that's because as i told you we are emulating this the operational system it might take longer to process the all the information so here i'm gonna click i accept I'm gonna click next I'm gonna come here custom to use the advanced settings of installation i'm gonna allocate the driver here that i allocated before 32 gigabytes it's what i i can see i i, I conceded for the for the operational system and the virtual machine on the steps um just gonna show you here guys that this is what you allocate when oh i can't see the information now but it it is in the screen uh, if you just come back here a few minutes on the video you're gonna see we allocate 32 gigs 32 gigs this is the space that you allocated for your machine so i'm just gonna click here next and now it's gonna proceed to the installation of the operational system in your virtual machine There you go, the screen here might take a while guys, depending on your settings and the, the, the space that you can see you allocated for your virtual machine and the cores you allocated for your virtual machine. It's also important guys to connect your machine on the power. I know the Macs, they are very robust in terms of battery. The chips, uh, the chipsets that Apple designed, M1, M2, M3, they are very efficient on administrating the battery usage. But since we are running a virtual machine here, it is a demanding task for your chipset. So it's important if you just connect your your machine on 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 a power, so you can even run um this task is faster because as a default the chip will slow down some activities in order to improve performance if you're not connecting the power so if you're connecting the power it's gonna um, improve your speed on your task <music> back here guys um, so after the installation of the Windows Server 2022 here we come to customize settings it's gonna ask you here to create a password I recommend you since it is a virtual machine to create a password it's easy for you to remember and uh, something that you won't forget something that you have to push your machine to to start it again so um so if you don't want to use anything you can just create here like a very simple password i just used uh, a very simple one here to set um i'm gonna click here and finish uh, make sure you remember this password it's gonna be important so i'm gonna put here finish it's gonna finalize the session and then it's gonna start my windows server 2022 we're gonna have here this the screen here um so guys the first uh, trouble you're gonna have here since you are always you probably also uh, using a mac os as i am uh control alt dell um if you press command option delete it's not gonna do anything because um it's not the same key command on a mac for the the server here but um Luckily, as one of my friends helped me, this command here for the server is gonna be option control. Um, just gonna press here, okay, it's gonna capture mouse. So option control FN, sorry guys. Function control option delete. If you press in this order, function control option delete is gonna sound as control alt delete for your mac 
and here you're gonna ask for your password that you created I'm gonna insert here my password and I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna start the machine now and hopefully we're gonna have no errors let's see here This is the first time initializing this this machine. That's why it's kind of slow. So there you go, guys. Here we see the first um, the first screen of Windows. <laughs> kind of weird to look at it from a Mac, but there you go. You have here it started your Windows Server 2022. From here, it's gonna show the options you have as um, you're using the Windows Server machine. Um, and from it, you can work on uh, whatever task task you have to work on. Um, I'm just gonna. Remember you guys, this is an emulation, so probably some of the functions that might be not in the, in native for the X64 uh, or X86 architectures might not be available here. Um, or it will be available but running in a very um, slow rhythm as compared if you're using this on any other virtual machine like virtual machine box running an intel based ship but uh the way it is here now it's a a good way to work around the problem of not having a native um windows server for arm based chips all right i'm just gonna click here and yes but from here that's it guys gonna let you here with this uh, from here you can work on whatever you need to work I hope this video might have helped you guys and that's it if you have any comments questions below just leave it below here in the comment section please like subscribe and thank you